Scott just warned us that he's kind of doing a touchy subject tonight when it comes to myth busting. I think he said he's going to open a can of worms. That would be the exact quote. <laughs> yes. So, so let's Scott. go fishing. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing something that's a little interesting tonight because there's, it's just one of those water cooler conversations. But before we get to that, we have to have our favorite season because we've been doing this all week long. We didn't do it yesterday, but we're back doing it today. So here's another favorite season uh, as told to us and a reason why from Eustick Elementary. Um, my name is Oscar. I go to Eustick Elementary. My favorite season is winter be because I go sledding with my dad and I stay on the floor, four wheeler and he pulls the four wheeler with, with the sled. Awesome. That was great. Pulls the forward with, with the sled in the wintertime. In the summertime, I guess you can do that as well. Okay, here it is. We've been doing meteorological myths all week. Now, I'm uh, taking a topic here that uh, definitely has a lot of conversation being discussed about it online, especially. Contrails versus chemtrails. What are we talking about here? Contrails are what you see coming out of, a, of an airplane. The exhaust coming out the back, the moisture that condenses and forms a cloud, that's a contrail, a contrail which is basically short for condensation trail. Now, there are some folks who feel that there are chemtrails that are also coming out of planes. Uh, it is a conspiracy theory that we are getting pollution being uh, to manipulate the atmosphere, either for behavioral control, weather control, some type of control. Uh, and, and this would be coming out of the backs of planes, not all of them, but some of them. So you can get a lot of information. Just consider your source when you go online to check this out. But what I want to do is I want to just talk about the folks who talk about chemtrails. I keep hearing people saying, well, they sit in the sky for so long, it can't just be a regular contrail. And I kind of want to disprove that myth right here uh, with some meteorology behind it. So here's what we have. This is a contrail, a shot from another plane right here. And it looks like a cloud. And basically, that's what it is. You've got dry air in the upper atmosphere not very dry there's moisture but there's no clouds the moisture hasn't condensed it's still invisible water vapor but when a jet plane goes by the exhaust coming out has a lot of moisture in it it's very hot and as soon as it comes out it is cooled by the air around it it condenses and if the conditions are moist enough outside of it we get a cloud to form, and that's your condensation trail. So here's the cloud that will form behind a plane. Depending on the weather conditions, that cloud will stay or disappear very quickly. There are days I know there will not be contrails because it will come right out of the exhaust, and basically what will happen out of the back of the plane, and it'll be so dry outside, and the air is sinking and warming and drying that the contrail will just disappear because there's not enough moisture in the air. But on days that we have moisture in the air, but there are no clouds, and we have air slightly rising, we get these cloud streaks right here, these contrails that persist. And if the wind is blowing in the right direction, you get wind shear as well. And the clouds will tend to kind of form ice crystals. And as they do, they'll shear apart. But they're still not sinking enough to dry out by getting that increased pressure, that drying air. When I talk about high pressure sinking air and drying air, what's basically happening is, is we have a little lift of the air right here. And right at the leading edge of it, you see these cirrus clouds. When there's a warm front approaching like this, and there are planes flying around here, there will be all kinds of contrails right here, but out ahead of it under the big blue H high pressure, maybe even tomorrow, though it's not a real strong high pressure, you just don't get the contrails to form. And so if I hear the argument that, well, these have to be chemtrails because normal contrails don't stay in the atmosphere that long, that is a myth because it all depends on the weather conditions holding that up. Hmm. But boy, this is definitely a conspiracy theory. It just started in 1996 and in 2000, the FAA, NASA, NOAA, uh, all of these organizations got together with science saying this is not the case and kind of debunked that. But boy, that is just adding to the conspiracy theory. So it certainly makes for interesting reading. Yeah. I use chemtrails in the studios to control the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Haha, -ha, myths or not. Oh. <laughs> Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side, a deadly 